Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. Alright, so we have our ship to Delphinus. We have stopped by Doc's place, fed some moonfish. Uh, pretty much got Enrique ready for battle. So now let's head to a place. This is going to be Sailor's Island. We're going to be heading back here again. Um, now that we have control of a ship, there are quite a few things we can do around the place. Nothing too terribly involved. One thing kind of is, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, not a whole lot's changed around here. We still got these two guys doing whatever it is they're doing out here. Um, but if we can stop by a couple places, let's first go to the Sailor's Guild. And I don't think we have anything to actually turn in here. Let's take a look. Yeah, see, I don't have any info to sell, so no, that's all right. Uh, but what I do actually want to do while we're here is we can check out the wanted list again. It turns out, I think, that the next people don't show up unless you actually, like, view their entry. Because we can actually fight this loose cannon Lapin right now, but he won't show up where he is until I actually view this, so... Um, there you go, we can check this out. It's got gun arm, he destroys stuff, his machine's capable of producing smaller drones, it's got a large arsenal of weaponry, it sounds pretty dangerous. And we also have the XNS Demons. I'm wanting to say we read this, but I'm honestly not sure. Uh, but basically, you know, I, I, I'm fairly certain we have, but if we haven't, there you go, it's on screen. Alright, so now let's leave, and of course, before we do, we're going to get addressed another black spot. And remember, this is Piastel's way of calling us out there, so yeah, we're going to have to be dealing with that again, too. But for now, we're done in the Sailor's Guild. So let's head on over, and this time into, uh, this is Polly's Tavern, I guess? I don't know, I don't remember what the proper name is. Anyway, let's talk to Polly here. So, you kids are recruiting new members for your crew. Well, you've come to the right place. They don't call it Sailor's Island for nothing. I'm sure you'll find plenty of candidates for your crew. Actually, Polly, we were wondering if maybe you'd like to join our crew. We'd be delighted if you would come with us and be our cook. You're probably the best cook we know. What? You want me to be your cook? This is a joke, right? Well, ever since the sailor that I married got shipwrecked during one of his voyages to the east, I've had to make ends meet by running this tavern with my only daughter, Anne. I can't suddenly just pick up and leave. Why not, Mother? Go ahead and go. You've always said, Mother, that you wished you had a ship so you could go and look for Father. I don't even remember my father's face, you know. If anything, do it for me. Go find my father and bring him home. Don't worry about the tavern. I can take care of things while you're away. Anne. Thank you, Anne. I will find your father and bring him home to show him what a wonderful daughter he has, I promise. Well, I guess this is it, then. If you were serious about your offer, I'd be happy to join your crew. Leave the ship's galley to me. I'll cook up lots of tasty food loaded with nutrition. Alright, and Polly joins our crew as a cook. They won't all be that easy. Most of them have prerequisites and things you have to do in order to get them to join, but thankfully Polly was pretty easy to get on board. And I bet she would be an amazing cook, too. Oh man, we'd have such great food. And we've also got this guy over here we can talk to. You're asking me to join your ship's crew? I only join crews when the owner of the ship is willing to pay me what my skills are really worth. I want 10,000 gold. Get me the money and I'll come aboard. That's pretty much nothing to us anyway right now. 10,000 gold, you say? Alright, I'll pay. Right, and we give it to Lawrence. Good, we have a deal. And Lawrence is going to join our crew as a helmsman. Awesome. Alright, there's actually one more crew member we can pick up around here if we walk up and around to the left here. This is going to be the weapon shop. And remember, I talked about this place in the last episode. I mentioned Pinta. Well, this is Pinta right here. So, you finally have your very own ship, huh? Maybe it'll make things easier for the both of us if I just go with you. And with one line of dialogue, Pinta has joined our crew as a delegate. Alright. And of course, while we're here, we do want to check out the shops. It's been a little while, but Sailor's Island has actually upgraded its stock. So, we can check some things out here. Let's see, looks like we've got some armor that's marginally better. I'm seeing a plus one for, for both on Vice. Uh, it might be good for Aka, though. Looks like we got this, though, which is cheaper but better. That's really weird. So let's go ahead and buy two of these, then. Put them on Vice and Aka. And we'll go ahead and buy this Ixitakan armor and put it on Fina. All right, now let's see. Um, every, pretty much every accessory is going to look better for Enrique just because we have that warrior's heart on, but again, we're going to keep that, so. 
And, um, let's see. I think this is back to old stuff. Yeah, I can see plenty of downgrades there, so that's about it for this place. Um, because there's also probably quite a lot of stuff you can sell. You, you've noticed I've actually organized my inventory. Um, you can do that just by going to the item screen and pressing Y. And there's various different things, like it's alphabetical, or you can do it by function. So you can have all your healing crystals up top, which is really good. I'm going to get rid of these Sakura crystals, because they're just taking up space. I'm never going to restore just 500 when Sakura crystals are so plentiful now. Um, we've got all this... Um, they'll probably keep most of it. I mean, because these boxes sell for, like, nothing, so, you know, it's kind of like they're like, sort of worth keeping around. Uh, we've got this Soul Crystal here, which sells for quite a bit. Remember, that's one of the Zivil and Bane treasures. We also have the Unholy Dagger. And this Magilic Idol sells for a ton, and as far as I know, there's no use. Um, if there is, you can, you know, scream at me, but it's worth 25,000 gold. I'm selling this thing. I'm sorry. Uh, we got a bunch of fish we can pretty much get rid of, I think. I don't think we need any more of these for really anything. And if we do, fish aren't too tough to come by, so... Alright, picking up a ton of cash. Uh, I've also got some stuff to sell. We're gonna get rid of the mace ham. We're gonna get rid of this old throwing blade I picked up from a random battle, which is total crap. Uh, we got some armor that's now outdated. All of this is outdated. I'm oh, gonna do that again. Let's get rid of Gilder's stuff because he's not with us anymore. Got a coat, got a uniform, got some maiden's armor. And probably some of that we can sell, but I'm really not gonna bother. Um, most of the ship stuff we can sell now that we have um, our new ones. So, you know, this is all still stuff from the Little Jack, so we don't really need any of this anymore. Um, we'll keep some of these just because these are accessories and we can't transfer them over. So there we go. All right, spend a little bit of time at the shop there, but that's all right. All right, so let's make our way back out. And um, we can also check a couple other places. We're going to check by the item store real quick, because um, we should be able to get a pretty good stock of stuff here, I think. They sell pretty much the most advanced healing crystals, really, that we can get, I think. Um, so let's see what we've got. Yeah, see they have Sacrum, Sacrace, and Sacralin, so I'm pretty much going to stock up on most of these. I mean, we have so much money at this point, I might as well just max out my stock, really. I mean, some of this can be really expensive, like those Sacrum Crystals, but really, with this stock, I can probably finish out the game. So we'll just go ahead, fill up on 99 of all those, and be done with it. Um, I'm also going to buy a few more of these. Um, I didn't remember how much I got, so let's just buy 20. Uh, healing self. We can also buy charms here if we want. We got rising crystals, but we're good. All right, so that's pretty much all I wanted to check out at the shops. Um, before we actually get into our first optional battle that we're going to be doing here, I'm going to rest up at the end. I like to come back here to sleep because it's really cheap. You could probably go all the way back to Pirate Isle if you wanted. I bet you could sleep for free there, but I mean, it's like 60 gold and we're in the area, so. Stay the night. Alright, so we're pretty much ready to fight the first of the optional battles that we're going to be doing. Um, but in order to make him show up, he is actually going to show up here. We're going to have to actually leave and come all the way back. So let's return to our ship. And pretty much just come right back in. And this time, as we round this corner, we should see, yeah, somebody else standing up here. You can see now we've got this guy in uh, very bright purple, actually. Kind of just hanging out looking maybe a little bit upset about something, so let's talk to him, see what's up. Hey, isn't that one of the guys on the wanted list at the Sailor's Guild? Hmm, I believe it is, so let's talk to him. Pretty sure I'm ready. Uh, again, make sure you're healed up and equipped before you do this. What are you looking at, punk? <laughs> Looks like we got a live one here. At least this makes the bounty more interesting. I hear that you've been thrashing up cities with that machine of yours. Your name's Leapin', right? Heh, <laughs> what of it? And what, you here to try and stop me or something? Well, that's the plan. The name's Vice, Vice of the Blue Rogues. We're here to earn a little cash. So, you're this Vice that everyone keeps talking about. You're making quite a name for yourself. This day's turning out to be quite interesting. If I can defeat you, that means that I'll become even more famous than you. Let's fight outside the city. I don't want anyone not involved to get hurt. Come to my ship and we'll fight there. Heh, <laughs> coward. But if fighting outside makes you feel comfortable, whatever. You'll need all the help you can get to beat me. Well, all right, yeah, someone, <laughs> someone's a little full of themselves here, I think. I hear that you built that machine yourself. Damn right I did. It's the only thing my good-for-nothing pops ever taught me. 
Dad? You have a dad? I figured he must have just hatched from an egg and crawled out from under some rock somewhere. Watch your mouth. Besides, he's not even my real pops. He just found me somewhere and decided to raise me. I didn't ask for help. He just picked me up and brought me home. Anyway, his name's Sentime, the coward. <gasps> Wait a minute. Sentime is your dad? <laughs> I doubt it. I don't see how Sentime could have raised a slime ball like this. I said watch your mouth, wench. You don't know a single thing about what you're talking about. Whoa, holy crap, where'd that thing come from? <laughs> oh man, check out this machine. Wow, a little bit ostentatious, but I like it. <laughs> this thing looks seriously dangerous. Me and Gunnar are going to be big, real big. Not like that old fart of a dad. Vice, I'm going to rip you apart with this machine. You best come at me with all you got, because I'm not holding back. Okay, and now we have a boss battle against Luz Cannon Lapin, one of the bounties. So, of course, he's got his gun on there. He also has three smaller pieces. This was actually mentioned in the uh, bounty description. These are frocks. Now, these frocks, I believe, just from my observations, seem to be sort of programmed to attack the character with the least HP, which means Fina's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, she's going to be pretty much just struggling to stay alive for most of this battle. So what we're going to do here is we're going to... Let's see, all, all my items got rearranged. I don't know where the Glyph of Mites are. Uh, here they are. Right, we're going to use Glyph of Might on Vice. We're going to just have him do it on himself. Things are going to be a little bit different here because we now have Enrique with Justice Shield. So guarding is really a waste of a turn with anybody else. So we're going to be focusing actually quite a bit, even with Fina. And we're going to have Enrique use his Justice Shield here. May righteousness be our shield. So you can see, he puts up that shield on all of us, and now it's basically like all four of us are guarding. You can see they always seem to automatically go for Fina. And you can see she has the pink on her name and, you know, is actually blocking, so it's having damage. Uh, so basically we can use these other characters to sort of build up SP and be able to use moves a lot more often. Even though it does take four each turn to keep Justice Shield up, it gets more than cancelled out really by um, the focusing and, you know, being able to do other things while still guarding. It's really nice. Alright, so here's Sidewinder, which is kind of a pain, uh, but thankfully we are all guarding. This can be somewhat damaging, you can see, 7 and 800, even though we're all guarding. The good news is, though, look at our spirit now. We have plenty of spirit points, which means we can use a rain of swords to pretty much just take everything out. Now, I believe, okay, yes, they're all yellow, which means uh, basically we can use either blue or silver. Blue's the first one to come up. Let's get a rain of swords out. And now, since really, like I said, nobody else has to be guarding, we can focus. Um, or we can get healing out, which is probably what we need to do here. So let's get a Sacrum Crystal just to heal everyone up. Fina can, is probably in trouble, uh, because like I said, the frocks always attack the ones with the lowest HP, and they're also faster than us, so she might be in a little bit of a bad spot here, but we'll see how it goes. And of course, Enrique is going to use just a shield. And of course, thankfully, that always gets out first. Alright, so as long as Fina can at least, like, dodge one, that's probably a good thing. Um, she should survive, even if she gets hit here. Yes, okay, just barely, but she did. Alright, so now that we get that Rain of Swords out, you can see that's enough to obliterate all the little pieces, uh, which is good. Definitely very good. It's going to make things a whole lot easier. Now, he can, of course, revive pieces. Um, he will send another one out, and he'll almost always use the first turn after you destroy them to do so. Uh, but you can see we're building up our spirit. Now, we don't really need to build up enough for a Reign of Swords necessarily, and we all will survive the Sidewinder because we just healed Fina. So, again, she's barely struggling to stay alive, but she's fine. So, we have enough SP. Now, like I said before... Usually what he does, it's almost every time, is he'll always revive them the turn after you defeat them. So we're going to take this opportunity to use Cutlass Fury, and we're also going to actually skip out on Justice Shield in order to build up a little bit of spirit. Uh, we're going to get a Sacrum Crystal here, and then we're going to also have Fina use a Sacrum Crystal on herself. Enrique is going to focus. Let's try this. Now hopefully he doesn't do anything super damaging, like hopefully he doesn't use Sidewinder on this turn. Um, and he will actually revive them like I'm thinking he should. But as you can see, we're all faster than gun arms, so 
we're able to bring ourselves back up. We're actually all back at maxed again, so that's really good. Got a lot more spirit points here. Use a couple of fury. And <laughs> make a little bit of a dent into his health. Yeah, there you can see he's using charge. Alright, so that's going to bring back another frock into the picture. Those things actually have a somewhat decent amount of HP, but we have enough to use Reign of Swords. It might be a little bit overkill, but I am going to take that thing out, because I want there to be as few of those on the battlefield as possible. And we are going to have Enrique use Justice Shield, because there's no telling what he's going to do on this turn. So it's really, at this point, you kind of just have to wait it out. This is actually a pretty difficult battle, and he can very easily wipe you out. Um, if you don't have Justice Shield up, that Sidewinder can very, very quickly, instantly do over 1,500 to 1,600 damage to everybody. So really, you generally want to keep Justice Shield up, or at least have the delicate people like Fina guard. Um, or if you have Justice Shield up, you can have them focus to sort of cancel out the SP cost. Alright, he's going to be using his target search here, which means he's probably got um, something very devastating up his sleeve, so... Justice Shield, again, will be enough, because it's guarding, it's going to have damage, so we can pretty much go on our standard fare here, use Cutlass Fury, uh, focus with everybody, and then have Enrique use Justice Shield. You're going to be seeing this pretty much a lot from here on out. Alright, so we're starting to make a, l a little bit of a dent in his health. That's nothing extremely major, but alright, he's using Rampage, of course, on Fina. And we'll see if she survives, I'm honestly not sure. Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah, that was 2,000 damage. That was guarding. She was a basically full health. There's nothing you can do about that. She's gonna get killed by that. I mean, I'm sorry, that's just how it goes. Alright, so again, though, we can use Cutlass Fury. Thankfully, Aka can just use either a Rhizome Crystal or a Box. Um, we've got boxes, so I guess we can go ahead and use those first. It doesn't really matter. And have Enrique use Justice Shield. So it's like we're still all covered, and we can bring her back. Now, the problem is, Fina will not have... Oh, I didn't skip it in time. Uh, Fina will not actually get the shield, because she's going to be raised afterwards. So if he does anything on her, it's going to be damaging, but that's alright. Alright, so she's back up again. And now we got another Cutlass Fury coming. Looks like he's pretty well below half. He's got probably about a third. He's going to use Charge again to revive a Frock, which is alright. I think we should have enough, actually, to be able to do Reign of Swords. And if we can, I do want to do that in order to take that thing out. Yes, we do have it, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll focus with these two. We'll use Justice Shield. You know how this works. little chip off of Fina's there. And you can see by this, the frogs actually do have quite a bit of health. I mean, 230 brought it down to, what, like maybe a fifth of the way? So, um, th th it is really annoying to have to take them out, like, just by regular attacks or, you know, to try to have the other party members do it. So, really, I like to kind of keep Reign of Swords for that, you know, basically just for that function. Target search again. If uh, Fina dies, there's really just not a lot we can do about it, you know? I mean, if it targets her, she is gonna die from it. Just, that's just a fact of life. But really, the key, if you can keep the frocks out of the battle, it's actually a lot easier. You really only have to deal with one target, you know, in one big attack. At least she got her focus off, so that's good. All right, yeah, I think that's Fina again. Yep, all right. Well, down she goes again, which, uh, that's all right. We do have stuff to revive her. There's just not a lot you can do about it, really. All right, so Cutlass Fury there. We're going to have Aka take care of this. That other Rhizlum box just broke, so that's unfortunate, but oh well. Really? Did that one just break, too? Oh, man. <laughs> Music doesn't know what to do. It's having to go back and forth so much. Alright, I don't know if this will do it. It might need one more. Okay, yeah, it does need one more, but that's fine. Oh, wow, Rampage again? I didn't know he could do that twice in a row. 
wonder who that's on. Probably Aka. Yeah. Okay, she survived, so that's good. Um, I'm really not concerned now because this Kellis Fury will take care of it, so let's just guard with everyone else. The Vice will take it down on this turn. And there it goes. Alright, so that's Lapin for you. Yeah, it's kind of a tough battle. Unfortunately, if you don't have something like Justice Shield, it can really just come down to luck. I mean, honestly, that's just how it goes. So, uh, Thankfully, we made it out alright. And we also got a Berserker Mail from that, so sweet. I can't believe this. I'm no better than Pops. Lapin, I think you might have misjudged Sentime. Your dad is the best machinist in all of Valua. Heck, maybe even the world. And on top of it, he's a kind-hearted man who looks after young orphans like you and Hans. Just shut your mouth already, will ya? You don't need to tell me that, I know. But, but I'm gonna be famous. I need to become famous. I can't sit around like Pops and wait for something big to happen to me. That's why I left home. I left to become a legend. You worry too much. Heck, even I'm still a nobody in the grand scheme of things. Some things just take time. <laughs> I guess I can't blame you, though. I left home to find my own adventures, too. So I guess you and I aren't so different. We both have so much to do ahead of us. But if you rush things and try to make a name for yourself by destroying towns, then you'll only be known as a criminal, not a legend. <laughs> well, we'll see you around, Lapin. Next time we meet, I hope we're both a little closer to achieving our dreams. You have defeated me, both physically and mentally. I bow my head to you, Vice. Alright, and there we go. That's Loose Cannon Lapin for you. Nice turnaround at the end there. Fun battle, even though it is a little bit tough, and Lapin's kind of a cool character, so... Alright, now let's head in and collect the bounty, and then we'll get out of here. We also have, um, of course, remember, Piastle did call us to fight, so yes, we are going to take her up on that. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and uh, get the bounty. We got 5,000 gold. Nice. Alright, so that battle made this one run a little bit longer, but well, that's alright, and that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, next time, like I said, we're going to head out and uh, take care of Piastle. I am going to heal in between, don't worry, I didn't forget. But, um, yep, that's what we're going to do next time. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.